In this video, we'll be taking a look at every single outfit Lady Mary wears in Season 1 on Downton Abbey. Season 1 begins in April 1912 and ends in August of 1914. When the show begins, Mary is 21 years old, while her sister Edith is 20, and her youngest sister, Sybil, is 17. Over the course of two years, the sisters go through many ups and downs, and their personalities develop and change as they grow. Their personal style is a reflection of their individuality, all having signature colors, styles, and preferred tastes. Please keep in mind that there will be spoilers in this video and in the remainder of our Downton Abbey fashion series. This video will focus on Mary because she is the first Crawley sister that we see. Being the first person upstairs to arise, she wears a matching cotton cream colored nightgown and robe with detailings around the edges of the garment. She then changes for breakfast, wearing a silk shirtwaist or blouse with a contrasting skirt. The skirt is made of dark blue cotton, and the shirtwaist is of light blue patterned silk. Before the Titanic sinking and due to the end tale, Robert's paternal first cousin James stood as the heir, followed by his son Patrick but both the men died during the Titanic disaster. Because of this, a memorial service was held for them. To this event, Mary wears a coordinating black suit with black leather gloves and a small black handbag, along with a black hat fit with crushed velvet and black feathers. While still in mourning for dinner, she wears a black silk evening dress with beads and ruching detail and the dress features the perfect silhouette of the day. Where the waist is situated higher than the natural position, there are short sleeves, as well as the bodice being body skimming and elongated. It is here that she remarks how she hates wearing the color black, yet when she is not in mourning, it is often a color she chooses to wear willingly. Mary is also seen in a mauve shirtwaist and gray skirt ensemble during the day. During dinner time, they honor the fact that they are still in mourning. So Mary is seen again in black, this time a different gown of black silk embroidery and black beads. She pairs her dress with an incredible statement necklace. In episode two, we see Mary getting ready for dinner. Here she's going to meet Matthew. She decides to wear a beautiful new dress. This one is of green silk with a black chiffon overlay complete with gold starburst embroidery. The sleeves of the dress are almost undetectable, creating a beautiful layering of the gold starbursts on her arms. With this dress, she wears black elbow length gloves along with one of her signature sets of black jewelry. In another evening look she wears, she puts on the same black jewelry and black gloves. This dress as well has that sheer chiffon overlay, this time a little darker and more concentrated. The belt of the garment has pink and black sequins, and the skirt, which is underneath the overlay, is of a bright fuchsia. Here we can see Mary, Edith, and Sybil in their signature colors. Mary often in dark and bold colors, Edith often in warm colors, and Sybil often in cool colors. Mary is seen in a gray suit with black accents and a gorgeous black over-the-top hat. These skirts were detachable from the suit jacket and could be mixed and matched with different shirtwaists for daytime wear.
In episode three, Mary is wearing a long blue jacket, a white silk shirt waist, and a gray skirt. While changing for dinner, we can see Mary's underpinnings and the new dress which she has, a sky blue silk chiffon gown. An equestrian ensemble would be essential to a wealthy Edwardian's wardrobe. And here, Mary wears a traditional black one, of course, with a skirt, so she could ride side saddle, which was the norm of the day. This is the first time we see Mary in one of her most beautiful dresses, this being the red velvet and embroidered silk gown. She pairs this outfit with incredible red feathers, and the whole ensemble is a reflection of her attraction to Mr. Pamuk. That evening, she is seen in the same nightgown and robe as we had first seen her in, in the first episode of the season. Following the death of Mr. Pamuk, the next day, Mary is seen in a black skirt and white and black silk striped shirtwaist. She puts a small brooch on her outfit and pairs her look with a black belt. That night, she is seen in a black evening dress, this one which had been worn before in episode one. When Matthew comes to see how Mary is in the following days, she wears a light blue jacket with darker blue velvet accents, a dark blue skirt, and a white silk blouse. To watch the fair being assembled, Mary wears a coordinating suit jacket and skirt of gray pinstripes. She has a larger red handbag and a large dark hat. While with Matthew, she is wearing the exact same outfit as she was wearing when she last saw him in episode 3. The light blue jacket with dark blue velvet accents, the dark blue skirt, the white shirtwaist, and the same hat. That evening for dinner, we see her in a beautiful new cream dress. This dress is gathered beautifully at the waist and exposes the many layers and detailed nature of the garment. The dress features embroidery on the bodice and again, like many of her gowns, has the silk chiffon overlay. Like in episode 1, when talking with her father, she wears this ensemble yet again, the dark blue skirt and light blue patterned silk shirtwaist. She is also seen re-wearing her light blue silk chiffon evening gown, pairing her look with delicate pearl jewelry and white silk gloves. Her last look of episode 4 is a new dress, a beaded mauve colored gown with a black chiffon overlay. At the beginning of episode 5, we see her in this morning look, where she wears a white silk shirtwaist which had been seen in previous episodes, a black skirt also worn in previous episodes, but she pairs her look with a new cardigan. Her next look are pieces of clothing which she has had in her wardrobe for a few years now. This black skirt, the white shirt waist, and the blue jacket. Like the previous episode, she also wears her new dress, that mauve silk chiffon beaded gown.
While inspecting the setup for the flower show, she wears her new pinstriped gray day suit, which she had in episode four. She had not worn her red silk and velvet embroidered gown since Mr. Pamuk had stayed with them. Once again, this dress represents attraction and how she now is having feelings for Matthew. To the flower show, Mary wears a new striped white and blue dress with a purple belt and lace details. The stripes are a representation of her strong and direct nature. At the start of episode six, she is seated for dinner, once again wearing her red Spanish style dress, representing her feelings for Matthew and how she is regretful of her actions in the last episode. She also has a new riding ensemble, this time of gray. In the garden, she wears the same outfit she had worn in Season 1, Episode 1. She keeps wearing outfits she deems the most beautiful on her in hopes that Matthew will think the same. While walking with Cora and Isabel, she is seen in a brand new walking suit. With black striped detail on the cuff of the sleeves, she pairs the look with her coordinating hat and black gloves. Her last evening dress of this episode is her mauve chiffon and black beaded gown. With this look, we get to witness one of her coats being black and silver and of wool. Here we get a close-up of the detailed beading. And who can forget the infamous first kiss of Matthew and Mary? The next day, Mary wears her same riding jacket and skirt. The last episode of the season takes place in July of 1914. We can see already that two years have gone by and a number of beautiful dresses have been worn. Mary's first look of this episode is the walking suit, which she donned in the previous episode. She then wears one of her favorite ensembles, the blue patterned silk shirt waist and dark blue skirt. With Aunt Rosamond, she also rewears one of her best suits, this gray and black one. Now back at home, she wears a new baby blue silk shirtwaist, her white skirt which goes with her walking suit, and her sweater which she has worn in previous episodes. While talking with Matthew, she wears the very same outfit, just puts on the coordinating suit jacket to the skirt. When she finds out that Edith was the one who wrote to the Turkish embassy, she confronts her, wearing her beautiful cream and silk gown, which had been worn previously in episode 4. To the garden party, Mary wears her blue and white striped gown. This is the dress that she also wore to the flower show. It is on this day that she finds out she will not be marrying Matthew, and that World War I has begun. Let me know in the comments your favorite look that Lady Mary wears in Season 1. Please be sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you can be updated whenever new videos in this series are released. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching Cultured Elegance with Faith and I'll see you in the next video.